Est-ce que ça va le Cameroun ce soir? I want a bigger, bigger, bigger Sava. Are we all happy to be Cameroonians tonight? Yes! And of course, Cameroon, land of promise, land of glory, and we are ever happy and ever so glad to celebrate our national colors, the green, red, yellow. Today, the CRTV is out here in the United States of America in Maryland to celebrate with all of you. We're going to start it really hard right now with an artist. He calls himself Paco Colas. He is an artist who's been singing for over 15 years. He has sang with great names of the Cameroonian music industry, like Papillon, like Papa Zoe, like Nono Flavi. Today he's presenting to us his second album. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a showtime. The guy is so cute. He has a nice voice. So you know what? Let's celebrate Cameroon today as we welcome our first artist on stage, Paco Colas. <laughs>
What a wonderful performance Paco just put up. Pardonne-moi, c'est une histoire vraie ou bien... Euh... Oh, c'est une histoire très vraie, euh, ça tourne l'histoire de ma vie. Tu sais, vous savez, dans la vie, on fait des erreurs. Il faut savoir demander pardon. Tu as fait l'erreur avec qui Oh là là, c'est personnel. Bon, vous savez... Euh... On veut savoir, puisque tu chantes. Bon, We want to know, right Oui, ben, vous savez, euh, Parcours, euh, c'est quelqu'un qui aime des bonnes choses. Parfois, il arrive qu'on fait des erreurs. L'erreur m'est arrivée, ben, j'ai essayé de corriger par la chanson. Et le message, la personne sait, elle écoute. Le okay. message est passé. Thank you so much, Paco. He's going to be coming back. Thank you. Thank you, Paco. Thank you. After that beautiful performance, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking to uh, Claudio Oben, who is an award-winning uh, filmmaker. He's a CEO of Zilmatic Pictures and the producer of Captive and the Portrait. You certainly have watched his movies. They have been coming up so many times, and we are ever so proud of what the Cameroon film industry is doing. We're just so sure that in the years to come, or maybe very, very soon, Cameroonian movies are going to be featured all over. We're going to be nominated everywhere, and we will get all the awards. Not so? <laughs> all right, let's meet um, Claudio Oben to find out from him what exactly this journey has been, what inspired him and many more things. And then we'll obviously watch a little preview of these movies, which I'm certain are very captivating and will keep you spellbound. <laughs> After that beautiful performance, the beautiful musical performance, we're going to be welcoming uh, our first uh, award-winning independent filmmaker, Claudio Oben. I must say he's also one of the members of the technical crew of this edition of Let's Celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. And I'm just so proud to talk to him right now because they're doing such a great job out here to promote the Cameroon film industry. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up, Gwen? How you feeling? I'm sure that by the time I leave this place, I'll start what's supping. Please, don't throw me when I start what's supping when I get to Cameroon, okay? I mean, I'm just catching the fever, following the flow. You understand? Do they say flowing the flow, following the flow? Um, whatever you want to say, my sizzle. <laughs> mass what? My sizzle. What is that? I'm just trying to say my sister. Okay, my sizzle. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are feeling me <laughs> anyways. Uh, I talked about you as an independent filmmaker, CEO of Zilamatic Pictures, and the producer of Captive and the Portrait. Tell me how this whole love story started. It started five years ago when we said, okay, let's do Zilamatic Pictures. Now, before that, we start acting. Obviously, we all start from acting. But at some point, we realize that we want to do more than acting. We want to see how the craft is done. Mm. We want to be the technicians. And we want to see how this magic is done that we love to do, acting. Mm. So we go behind the cameras and we fall in love with it a little more than the acting that we do. And that's what happened to me. I cut the bug. Mm. And I did Captive last year. And it was blessed to go somewhere where it was recognized by people whom I don't know by committee that is looked at as one of the best we call them our our, our our oscars in the diaspora and it gave us an award what award was that we won the best film in the diaspora last year he had three nominations and he won one mm -hmm. for in the gamma awards for captive and now sitting on nine nominations is the portrait which will be premiered september 5th it has nine nominations at the nollywood critics award which wow. will be in um, in los angeles next month yeah all right ladies and gentlemen um, sitting right here with an award winner, okay. Um, excuse me, I just have to flow the flow, all right. Please, we're in America. I beg when I not cut me down. You get it. Anyways, let's talk about uh, your movie, The Portrait. That movie has been making a lot of waves. I mean, you have a lot of movies, especially these two, The Portrait and The Captive. Which would you say has been your most challenging? movie uh, I'll, I'll go with the portrait for now okay. now why? this is why captive was mentally oriented we all crazy now anybody in the, in, the, in the entertainment industry you are crazy by nature that's it 
Now, the portrait, you have to step out of crazy. You literally have to live the real life story. And that's what the portrait is. It's the real life story. And I believe that anybody who would watch this film, if you've watched the trailer, I think you can get a glimpse of what, I'm, what we're trying to say in the film. You can relate to any little bit of OPs that the film is talking about. And that's what the challenge was for me to live the regular life, but in, 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 in the eye of a film. And that was a greater challenge as a filmmaker for me with this one than the previous. Now, as a producer and filmmaker, what would you say is the biggest problem the Cameron film industry is facing today? Um, finance and support. Those two words, I, can, I, I, I say so to say, we can, we, we can do all the films. We can do all the films. If there is no support to help us push these films out there, be it a, a, a TV media or an online media or, or a theater media, then these films end up in our closets. And why are we doing these films? And the finances, we need the support from be the, 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 the private sectors or the government to help us do these films because we would do these films. We love to do it. And we are doing it in a way that depicts our, our, our culture as Cameroonians or as people from Cameroon. To, 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 to put us on the platform where we can stand amongst our peers, be it the Nigerians or the Ghanaians, and say, well, we've done something really good. And we will keep doing them if we get the support that we deserve, that we need. So that's, that's one of the main challenges as it is so far. Anyways, I hope that those who were supposed to hear this message have heard it. I felt it like goosebumps, you know. It was touching me all over my body. But hey, it's a serious call. We are crying out to you. Cameroonians, uh, the government, I mean, all those who are supposed to support the Cameroon film industry, it's time for you to step up. They are doing a great job. I mean, putting in finances, all the high definition equipment I've seen here. I just want to say thank you and just keep doing the work you're doing. We'll see you on the top. Please, when you get money, don't forget us, okay? <laughs> I can't forget you, my Sizu. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much. I think we're going to watch a little excerpt, very tiny excerpt, of one of those movies that uh, were nominated at this very prestigious awards. Dear Lucy, or maybe I should call you Lou. Dear Jason, or should I call you Jay? From the moment we met, I'm Jason. I'm Lucy. And spending time with you, I have realized that, that I, I can't stop, stop thinking, about, thinking you. about you. All I want to do is talk to you, spend time with you. And who knows? <laughs> Lucy, hmm? you were born in God's. I made you my queen. I pronounce you man and wife. Which means you upgraded to Louis the 13th. Thank you. That's hot. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go get my fortune read. How do you know she's a fortune teller? Excuse me, ma'am. What do you do? What do you want done? I want my fortune read. I don't want my fortune read or told. Let's go. Sit down. You, you must not pay attention to the irrelevant things. You must make sure you pay attention to the more valuable, the smaller things. I love you. I will love you more if you put the portrait on. I still love you. I don't understand. You will soon. <laughs> the little things. The little people. Lucy, be Anthony. I am not going to lose my good I just lost my fourth baby prematurely. How do you think I feel? Jason, why can't you ever make me breakfast? Tomorrow, I'll make you the best breakfast ever. So now I'm like, you just want us to be away from breakfast. Don't do this without even being told. You will never know the true value of a moment. Lucy, please wake up. Until it becomes a memory. Please, wake up. We'll be together forever. Forever will not be long enough. I love you, Jay. I love you, Cupcake.
What an amazing personality Claudio Oben is. Of course, I'm sure that so many of you who have never known about him have not understood so much about him, especially he is a talented guy. He is super talented. And I want us to give a big hand for all the talented Cameroonians, especially those working so hard in the movie industry. Please give them a hand. All right, now after listening to Claudia Oben, we're going to introduce uh, right here on this platform a very particular lady. She is an African queen. And when I talk about a woman being an African queen, it's an underestimation. Because when she comes out here, you would understand. She has everything, everything well in place. And then her voice is going to make us travel from Maryland to Cameroon without even taking a flight. You can imagine what that is. She's taking us on a spiritual journey. The lady we're introducing right now on this platform, she's called Zaina. Yes, she's an African queen. Like I said, she has sung with great artists like Tala Andre Marie. She has sung with Dedi Eyango, Saleh John, Charlotte Mbango. You imagine. When somebody has sung with this kind of artist, you imagine what kind of talent she has. She has come up with an album, a first album, and it's religious. She says she wants to give praise to God. We're going to welcome Zaina, our queen from the West region of Cameroon, as she takes us on a spiritual journey this evening. <laughs>
sure you were not disappointed. I told you she was taking us all the way to Cameroon and back without taking a flight. So if you enjoyed Zaina's performance, give her a big hand. <laughs> Zaina, yes. I heard you calling Mama, Mama, <laughs> Mama. What were you telling Mama? Or what were you telling all the mothers who are watching you tonight? Yeah, I just tell, uh, talk to every mother that uh, we have to thank God. We have to praise him every day because the way we are mother, that is uh, great things. All right. Thank you so much. And if you love your mother... Of course, we should love our mothers. If you love your mother, give her a big, big hand. Thank you so much, Zaina. Thank you very much. Thank you. I told you, Cameroon has got it all. The African queen we just saw, Zaina, she got it all. I'm sure when she walked in, a lot of people had their hearts like... Huh? I know what I'm saying now. I'm a woman. I had this feeling. Then I'm imagining for guys who was like 10 or 15 times or even 30 times. <laughs> How can God give one woman everything like that? Eh? <laughs> Things that people go and pay millions to get. <laughs> you can find all that only in Cameroon. And we're so ever proud to be Cameroonians wherever we find ourselves. Now I just want to say thank you to the production team out here. Queen Choose, Elvis. Claudio, I want to say thank you to the Cameroon Film Industry for being a, ho a huge support to this program. I want to thank uh, the kitchen near you who allowed us to use their space. I want to thank all of you beautiful people for coming out. It's really exceptional. Cameroon Oboso, as they love to say. <laughs> All right, we're going to move right now to talk to another movie producer. He calls himself Kang Quintus. Very particular name. He is an award-winning actor, the writer and director. He is the producer of the multiple award-winning movie, AK. And the director of critically acclaimed movie, Rejected. All of these movies have so many times been recognized on national and international platforms. And of course, uh, he's going to be telling us all about his journey. It's a fabulous experience we're having out here in Maryland with the Cameroonians, especially those of the Cameroon film industry and the music industry. It's indeed a fabulous, fabulous experience. And I hope that we will be able to renew this in the years coming. Yes, I hope so. Uh, we're going to meet uh, Khan Quintus, an award-winning actor, writer, director, you name it. He is a producer of the multiple award-winning movie, AK and the director of the critically acclaimed movie, Rejected. This evening, he was just too much for us. He was the stage manager. He was the director of the whole program. And he's sitting right here, Kang Quintus, always looking nice, smiling. I mean, how are you, man? Let me start, you know, copying a little bit of your people style of talking. Hey, man, what's up? What's up? What's up, beauty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Um, how are you feeling today? I'm, I'm, I'm doing wonderful. I'm, I'm really excited that you came You came here to cover this, this, this great, great show in Maryland. Mm -hmm. we're, we're excited to have you. I'm sure you're very, very exhausted because you've been running all over the place to make sure that we had the right images and sound and everything and that we had a public participating. Let me say thank you on behalf of the CRTV and all those who are watching. Thank you so much for bringing all these guys together because I know I just had to make a call and then you had all of these things organized. Thank you so much. Thank you to CRTV. We're gonna do everything for Cameroon. We love Cameroon. We love the entertainment industry in Cameroon. And we'll do everything we can to support the industry to make sure this industry goes to the next level. Thank you, CRTV. <laughs> now let's talk about Ken Quintus, the actor, writer, director. Hmm, a lot of names for me alone. Huh? Too many titles, <laughs> you know. I mean, Ken Quintus is, um, is an independent filmmaker. I, I, I like to refer to myself like that. I, I am into anything film production. You know, I, I am an actor, a writer, a screen player. Um, I'm also into film production. 
and I directed my first film, Rejected, which is about to come out. Watch out for Rejected, guys. It's, it's coming up. It's coming up very well. Mm. It's, it's an interesting movie. It's been a great experience for me. I've been in this industry for just three years mm. now. And, and it's been an exciting experience. I'm very, I'm a young kid in the industry. I'm learning a lot and, and, and growing. You have had awards. Tell us a little bit about that experience. You're an award-winning actor, producer, director. Award-winning actor. A big name with that now. It's big because, <laughs> I mean, you got the award, right? Uh, yeah, um, yeah I've, I've won a couple of awards. I'm quite humbled to have, to have won a couple of awards. I want to say thank you for for all the award committees, for seeing the talent in me and recognizing the talent. Uh, I've, I've been doing my best. Uh, we, we had a couple of awards for Ike. Ike was one of my major projects, which, uh, which really pushed me to the limits. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of those projects that we, we gave our all to make sure it comes out well. And, and I'm, I'm sure the Cameroonian public will be watching Ike pretty soon. We have plans for Ike in Cameroon. So we have, we have had a lot of nominations and still counting more than 18 nominations. Wow for the film and we are still counting and uh, we give God the glory, we give God the glory. What has the experience been like? Because I know being an independent movie actor, producer, director, it should mean that you're poking out, taking the money out of your own pockets to make it happen. How has the experience been like? Being an independent filmmaker is a big challenge yeah. because you do everything. We are like gorilla filmmakers because you have to do everything from, from production, pre-production to production to post-production. You're involved with every little thing of, of the film. Financing comes from our pockets. I want to say a big shout out to all the independent filmmakers out there. You know, they're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work to get their movies come out because from financing to everything comes from your pocket. So it's, it's, a great challenge. it's a great challenge. One last word to all those watching you in Cameroon. Uh, what would you expect from them? One last word. I expect Cameroonians to support Cameroon's own because we have great films out there, a lot of good movies. Cameroonians should learn to consume our own products. Let's consume Cameroonian films. Let's let our TV stations try, try to nationalize our movies and show mostly Cameroonian films because we've watched a lot of foreign films and, and we think that it's about time. Cameroon has very high quality productions, great films, great actors, amazing stories that we want to tell the world and we think it's about time that we support what is Cameroon? You know, let's stand for Cameroon, support the industry, and we believe that we're growing, we're humbled. We, 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 are, we were crawling before, we, are, we have stood up now, and we are about to start running. So please, please support us for us to go to the next level. Thank you so much, Kang, for everything, for all your support, and for all the good work that you're doing to promote the Cameroon film industry. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Gwen. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you, and ciao. We're going to watch an excerpt of uh, that very thrilling movie right now, don't you move a muscle. It's going to completely blow your minds, I promise. A lot has been said and written about medical insurance in the United States. What about someone who is undocumented without medical insurance? Mr. Coon, we're sorry to inform you that we were unable to approve your application for asylum. Well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing else that I can do. This is not a pro bono law firm. If you need free legal services, you can go to any of these addresses and apply for them. Please do something. We have a waiting list. I would like to help you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, you may have lung cancer. <laughs> that his cancer is not a study, it's so it spreads every part of his body. Unfortunately, we don't have the level of funding to support surgeries yet. I'm sorry, ma'am. I wish I could help you. I'm sure that if this was your brother, you would surely find a way, ma'am. Sure. Please. Everywhere I've been to say they've rejected me. I need help. I need help. Coom, I know it's hard for you to talk about your feelings, but we must find a way. Coom. You still have so many reasons to live. You need to be strong in faith, and we're here to help you. You have to believe in a miracle, Cole. When the whole world turns their back on you, God is your only option.
been listening to Ken Quintus. We're going to chill it down with the party brothers. Two brothers who uh, love to do it their way. They have sung with so many great names in the music industry, like T. Meyer, Terry G, Petit Pei, Rabba Rabi, and of course, uh, DJ Arafat. Today, they're going to be here to perform for us for the 237, the Cameroon Colors. Without wasting much time, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the very talented Bamenda Boys. The P Brothers. <laughs> proud of you guys we are really proud of you guys now tell me there's always a story that you know people would like to hear how did you two meet you were brothers are you really brothers from the same parents or party brothers as we've always heard uh, of course you all know we are real brothers and you know I'm the older guy that's my younger man 
Okay. So what would you say about what is happening here? I mean, when you come out, when people hear your songs, they scream, how does that make you feel? Well, you know, an art is something that, you know, it must be appreciated. And we say thank you to people that appreciate what we're doing because we're doing it for them. If they are happy, we are happy. And I feel special, you know, seeing people screaming when I'm singing. <laughs> you have done a lot of collaborations. Would, would that be a strategy? Why did you choose to collaborate with all these big names? Well, you know, music, sometimes you try to collaborate with some other artists because, you know, you gain fans. You know, collaborating with Petit Pay, he have a huge followers in Cameroon. We know him, he's the biggest artist, he's respected. Of course, collaborating with him gives um, his fans the opportunity to look at, hey, who are these PE brothers? You know, we gain fans from collaborating. Hey, Flexi J, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you too? I know because I know that better I like woman. I go for Highsville. Uh -huh. I see some sexy. She makes me honey. <laughs> oh my goodness, we are going to have the party brothers. We're going to have the P brothers. I love you guys so much. You were on Tam Tam Weekend in Cameroon and uh, you did a fabulous show. You're coming back to Cameroon. I, I know you have a lot of projects. Sure, 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 sure. sure. We'll always be there for you, you know. When should we expect to see you? I know you're working on a new album with DJ Arafat. When is it dropping? I mean, well, you know, um, sometimes you, you have to prepare the fans and try, you know, sometimes you want them to expect like, oh, we want this, you know, we've, we've been getting a lot of calls, a lot of emails and all the stuff when the, the song coming, but I mean, I can promise the fans, I can promise the public, the Cameroonian public, Ivory Coast, I mean, Africa, we have a heat dropping with DJ Arafat, you all know him. Hmm. And of course, Maka Twati. Maka Twati. Now you guys are from Bafut. You want to say something in Bafut? I know Makatwati. Maybe just tell us what is that? What does it mean? Um, Makatwati, you know, an African man will love the waist. Yeah. So Makatwati <laughs> simply means uh, I want to hold the waist. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we can't have enough of these guys. They'll be coming back to do uh, the song they did with Petit Pei, Kokoriko. I mean, everybody has got to be on their feet. Huh? You people just start preparing because, I mean, everybody will be doing the Kokoriko style. Okay? Just share the P Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. Wow, I'm ever so joyful whenever I watch the P brothers. They are so entertaining, they are so talented, and I'm ever more proud that they belong to the 237, the Cameroon flag. We're going to listen to Elvis Efamba, who has been uh, one of the big hands we've had behind the production of this program. Let's celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. He is uh, a film director and cinematographer based here in Washington, D.C. He is the director of the much acclaimed movie, Retaliation. He's going to be telling us all we need to know about that, how it all started, how the journey has been so far, and what he hopes for the future. Of course, we know it's going to be for the best, but he's going to be talking to us more about that. <laughs> Of course, uh, this is Let's Celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. And I'm just so happy because I met a dynamic team out here. I just want to give a big shout out to all those who came out to support this initiative, especially to stand for the Cameroon flag. I'm thinking about Elvis Efamba, who is the next person we're going to be interviewing right now. He's a film director and cinematographer based here in Washington, D.C. He's a director of the much acclaimed movie retaliation but one thing you don't know about him is that he is the brain behind all the equipment we had here high definition i should say and i must commend his efforts let's get to meet elvis ifamba the man hello hey how you doing okay go slow man i know you guys in america beg i need to go back the same way that i was i can go back there and start talking people will be like Pardon? Pardon? Anyways, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. You were behind the camera most of the time. And I must say, if we're having these beautiful images, 
is thanks to you. Kudos, brother. Thank you so much for standing up for the flag. No problem. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about you as a director, cinematographer. Um, I'm, I love movies. I've learned a lot from watching different type of movies. Um, I pretty much watch anything. Um, Indian movies, um, Middle Eastern movies, um, African movies, Chinese movies. So I'm a movie guy and I tend to learn different cultures through films. How did it all start? I mean, how did this whole director cinematographer thing start? Um, I've been <clears throat> more like, I mean, I started really messing with the camera when I was like 13. Oh. And right now I'm 35 years old. So oh, wow. <laughs> I've, you can say I've had a lot of camera experience. Yeah. Um, but what really got into me was when I was in high school, um, I got a chance to do a speech in my speech class. I got a chance to tell a story through um, cassette, video camera. Wow. And this speech was about it was like a descriptive speech in the class. And my teacher back then, she wanted us to, of course, use a visual aid to kind of tell whatever story that we was trying to tell. So the first time I took the bus, which is a public transportation in Houston, by the way, I grew up in Houston, Texas, born in, born in Cameroon, grew up in Texas. And the first time I took the bus um, in Houston, I got lost. Oh. I fell asleep in the bus, so I got lost, and it was very scary for my parents. Yeah. So I went out and actually recorded the scenario of what had happened, wow. and I was able to cut the thing and play it back in my speech class, and I got a response from the, uh, my classmates. So that really kind of fired me up as far as telling stories through films. Wow. So tell me, how has your experience been like um, getting into the Cameroon film industry, getting involved? How has your experience been like? Um, it's very interesting because I'm learning. Um, you know, I've been on a couple of um, Nollywood directors um, sets, and I'm, I've, I've, you know, see what they do. Um, yeah. I'm sure it must have been difficult. It's always difficult at the beginnings, but you have to hang on, and you've hung on until now. And I think that the movie industry is starting to go higher and higher. You have this movie retaliation which has come up, which is already making a lot of waves out there. Tell us a little bit about that movie, Retaliation. Retaliation was a very interesting project. Um, a friend of mine, Pride in Fru, she's also an actress in the Cameroon um, community. Um, she introduced Can Quintus to me, okay. and Quintus had the script for Retaliation. And I, I, I read the script, and I thought it was very interesting because it was a different type of African movie. Um, as a matter of fact, when I first read the script, I didn't see it as an African movie. Um, I saw it as more like, you know, a Hollywood um, action um, uh, uh, mystery type of movie, you know. And, and me and Quintus talked about, you know, the vision of what I saw and basically clicked with the vision that he had when he was writing the, 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 um, the, the, the script. So um, we just kind of worked hand in hand from there. I, I had fun on, on the whole. Um, making of that film with the whole entire cast. So I think it was a fun experience. What should we expect to see in the coming months or years from you? Because I see that you have a very professional approach to your work. What should we expect to see? More magic, I guess? Uh, for most of my films that I'm hoping to make, I'm hoping to have a very strong visual and I like the movies to be very entertaining and also an educate, people can learn something from it, you know, get some education from the films that, you know, I like to make. And most of my films that I like to do is more like deals with like social um, um, environment, you know, social stories that people can relate to. And as a matter of fact, I have a production that we're working on now and we should be getting into the shooting, the production part of it, hopefully by um, early September. All right, now are we expecting to see some of those movies in Cameron soon or are you expecting to stay back here and do your thing? Um, uh, uh, actually, a director who goes by the name of Akim Macaulay, um, I had chatted with him and he had gave me some inside scoop about the Cameroon um, CRTV um, um, programs and he had mentioned something about, you know, CRTV is much more interested in having like a series, a co you know, a, a show that has like, you know, episodes. Yeah, and kind of connect with the actors. Actually, so um, I'm still in the talking process with him yeah. because I like to do something like that, which, you know, hopefully would encourage me to sort of, you know, go... Uh, 
travel more to Cameroon and, and you know, have some fun as far as making films. So I'm really looking forward to that type of process where we can make TV shows or movies here and of course take it back home so it can be aired on um, CRTV so the audience can get a chance to see what we do up here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being patriotic. Thank you for all your help, your support. And thank you so much for being the amazing producer that you are. Well, thank you very much. Um, and thank you for coming and giving us this chance for us to be able to showcase you know, our talent, our skills to the rest of the world. So um, big up to you and the rest of the fans back home. All right, we're going to have a chance now and an opportunity to watch a little excerpt of that movie, Retaliation, Don't You Go Anywhere. Hey, there's just too much, so much, so much coming. I'm sure you'll be thrilled by it. <laughs> your message. I thought it best to show in person. Excellent. Excellent. Business is a combination of strategy and character. You mess with one, you mess with one. Daisy, smell. Jane, be your spouse. I think we need to exercise some rules in this game. Chabala, Chabala. You see, business is like sport. Matter of fact, it's the best sport in the world. While you were out there messing up and covering your tracks, I was here putting in work. Whatever you want to get on leave. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking it really high this time around. We're going to present to you an artist who is different in every way, in every sense of the word. He is different in his style. I mean, when you see him, you would understand that this guy comes from far. He calls himself Boucantier, Black Boucantier. All right? And this evening, he's going to be doing for us a mixture of rhythms. I would prefer that you discover what he's going to propose to us right now, and then we'll talk to him right after this. Let's welcome Black Boucantier, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dans la vie, chacun fait sa part. You can't breathe like that. Mon ami, 
fait ta part Ne regarde pas ce qu'ils font Dans la vie du bon fait ta part Et n'oublie pas ton fil de guerre to learn one dance move from you. I just want you to do it on an acapella and you show me how to do the dance step. Can we do that together? Serre the dance. Serre the dance. Yes, serre the dance. 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 And of course, Le Boucantier, vraiment, tu es... Je manque même les mots pour te décrire. Vraiment, je dis que ta tenue, ton style et tout, et même la chanson, vraiment, j'ai vu tout le monde danser. I don't know what was stopping you from coming to dance with Le Boucan. Oh, Are you afraid of him? Oh, wow. The guy is too cute for you or what? <laughs> eh? The guy is too... too He's too fresh for you. <laughs> He's too boucantier for you. So tell me a little bit about that name, Black Boucantier. Yeah, what uh, is that name? Where is it coming from? I mean... Yeah, we're doing the boucan. And uh, it's a way of us to express something. You know, uh, we, especially African people, we need to understand that this is our time. Mm -hmm. Is it our time? Yeah! yeah. We, we spend all our life coping, trying to do what other people did. But now it's our time. We need to create. We need to do something and let people follow us. Am I right? Yeah. That's the thing. So, uh, oui, le message, c'est interpeller la jeunesse africaine. Je l'ai toujours fait. J'ai euh, toujours dit à mes élèves, parce que hein, je suis un enseignant, wow. de prendre des initiatives. Aujourd'hui, c'est notre moment. Prenons le risque, faisons des choses et laissons que les autres copient. Arrêtons de copier ce que les autres font. Ça, c'est le message. À la jeunesse africaine, merci. That is a very strong message. Thank you so much, Boucan. Black Boucantier. Voilà, Black Boucan. Thank you so much. Give him a big hand. Wow. I mean, when you see a guy dressed like this on the road, sincerely, if I'm the one, 
I will just start shifting. You know? Because the guy is too fresh, like you guys said. My God. The guy is... Griffé jusqu'au dents. La qualité là qui est griffé, il est griffé jusqu'au dents. Anyways, he gave us a great show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Cameroon for you. We have a lot of talents out here. That's why we are celebrating on this edition, on this program. Let's celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. Right now, we're going to be talking to a great guy. I mean, when I just talk, when I just imagine that I'll be talking to him, I just start smiling. My face lights up. He is Matt Atugong, of course. He is a pioneer president of the Actors Guild United States of America and co-producer of the Sona Awards and the movie Victimized. He has acted over seven movies. The most recent one being, uh, as the lead actor, was the movie Seeking Asylum. I watched a little except of it, and you have the opportunity of watching a little except of that movie. I tell you, you will be speechless. His talent is enormous. He'll be telling us all about that right now. And of course, uh, I'm ever so proud to be Cameroonian and more especially out here in America, in a foreign land, because I saw so many Cameroonians come out and especially those from the Cameroon film industry. Sitting here with me is Matt Atugong, of course, the pioneer president of the Actors Guild USA. Now, just to summarize to all those watching, who is Matt Atugong? Matt Atugong is all for the Cameroon entertainment. He's done a lot in the movie industry, and he's been a uh, co-founder of the Sona Awards, which took place 2013 in Yaoundé at the Hilton's. And he's been in the movie industry for almost a decade now yeah. and has done some also some producing. His last movie that he played a late role is called The Seeking Asylum. Now, that movie, I must say, is a must watch. It's one of those movies that makes us, you know, shiver, if I should say, because it, it sounds so true. Tell us about your experience taking part in that movie. Oh, very rich experience. I had to act with so many talented artists, uh, actors, and in fact, working with the uh, producer and uh, director of the movie, Bless Sichet, Christian Sichet, very wonderful guy. And it's been a very rich experience. I have not had that in all the movies I've acted. What would you say about the Cameroon film industry in a nutshell? Oh, yeah. You, you, if you know how it started, as you rightly said earlier, I'm the pioneer uh, president of the Actors Guild USA. Yeah. Compared to what we had a few years back, we are up to something. We are already getting Cameroon to the highest heights. You can reckon from the movie, the quality of the movies that we have been producing, that the awards that the Cameroon movies have been uh, winning. You know Cameroon Entertainment, Cameroon film industry is going to be at least at the apex. In the, in the next few years. Thank you so much for being there and for representing the Cameron film industry and especially Cameron today on this program, very special program we're doing out here in Maryland. Mm. Well, thank you so much and thank you CRTV for supporting us during the Sona Awards program and for being out here to promote us, the actors. Thank you so much. We're going to watch an excerpt of that very captivating movie, Seeking Asylum, right now. Journalism is my passion. I have been doing it for over 25 years. Sometimes it's a big challenge managing it alongside my family life. It's a very demanding job. Well, I see you looking so tired and uh, exhausted. Come on, get something and eat and have some rest. Very thrilling, I must say. And I'm really particularly touched about um, his kind of acting. He's so natural. And, uh, I mean, his acting simply carries you away. That is what we need to see more often in the Cameroon film industry. I'm just so happy that someone like Matt Atugong has set the pace and is still there as a pioneer, as a director, behind the pushing the young ones to believe in their dreams if they want to be actors and good ones for that matter. So I'm just going to move towards the public. They've been participating really good. 
But I would like to find out from them how they're enjoying the evening. It's the first time the CRTV came out to celebrate with the Cameroonians out here in uh, Maryland. And uh, I'm just going to, hello, sir. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So you live here? Yes, please. How are you enjoying the evening? The evening is so wonderful. I really enjoyed the show. I wish if Siraji could be coming to Maryland all the time, it would, be, it would be a pleasure for me, you know. What did you enjoy particularly? Which artists made you really? Really, I've uh, enjoyed most. Uh, I've seen uh, Paco. Those are artists that I've been watching that clip without seeing them physically, but I've had the opportunity through Siraji to meet them physically today, so I'm very uh, grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to move right over now to the lady who did my makeup. Um, she's a representative of uh, a very proud MAC makeup. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm okay. And you? I'm fine. Now, we're just so happy. I'm just going to say thank you so much for um, the makeup, for partnering with this initiative. We just came up so fast without a lot of preparations. So would you like to present your, your products to us and how can we purchase them if you want to? Um. Let me start by introducing the product. Um, this right here is a set. You use it to cleanse your face. And once you cleanse your face, before doing your foundation, it stays on your face longer. And basically, Mary Kay carry like makeup stuff. You have some perfume for both men and women. And how you can purchase the product? Online and by contact information, you can either contact me directly or you can contact Gwendolyn. She will get to me. Um, what was yeah. the other question? Okay, now tell me. Um, I see you already have like these are like cleansing liquids for the face. You also have powder like the liquid and the the loose powder. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that and the shades that you have. Um, basically, I have shades for everybody, and I have powders for all skin type. We have oily skin, we have dry skin, different powders will go on different people and it matches your face differently. So whatever shade you are, you can get your foundation based on your shade. And basically, when you use the liquid powder, that's when you want the, your makeup to stand out more. When you use the mineral powder, it's just to blend in with your natural look. Like right now, I have um, the I have on the mineral powder, which just blends in, but what she has here is a mixture of both, so that's the difference. Anyways, thank you so much for partnering, of course. We're going to continue. Maybe I'll look again into the public to see if I can talk to someone else. Cameroun au Bosso, le 237, toujours au top. Bien sûr, nous sommes ici à, à Kitinyayou. C'est un espace culturel camerounais et africain. Et bien sûr, c'est cet espace qui nous a donné l'opportunité de promouvoir tous ces Camerounais-là qui font du bon en parlant de musique et du bon en parlant des films, le Cameroun Film Industry. C'est un espace culturel, un restaurant, bar, boîte de nuit, Manger, boire et danser à la Camerounaise, c'est leur slogan. Je suis avec leur promoteur, M. Jules-Henri Menanga. J'espère que j'ai bien prononcé le nom. C'est bien prononcé, madame. Merci. <laughs> le showman, you see what? He is the promoter, the initiator of this whole kitchen near you issue. But I'm really, um, what would I say? I need to know, where is that name from, kitchen near you? How did it come about? This is, uh, that's my wife's name. She is the one who created the name. And uh, when she said, we're looking for a name, she said, no, let's call it Kitinia. I said, ah, wow, what a wonderful name. Yeah. And it's good. We like it. And everybody like the name, by the way. How long exactly has Kitinia been existing, promoting the Cameroonian culture, the African culture especially? We have, I have been in this business for uh, 17 years. Wow. I started in Houston, Texas, okay. where I had uh, one of the biggest nightclubs. Mm. It was like 700 seats. Wow. And well, after you Texas, we moved there because a lot of African in Maryland, Washington, Virginia, they had to move here. Now tell me a little bit, this is not only a place where people come to eat. 
it's equally a place where you promote Cameron culture in terms of music. You have created a space whereby you receive artists who are maybe budding and even veteran artists to come and perform. Why do you do that? I like show business, by the way. I like very, very, very much show business because it's my blood. And I like to promote Cameroon music and African music. Now tell me a little bit, what has been the feedback for 17 years? And how would you say you have impacted Cameroonians who are living here? Uh, Joe, tell you the truth, it's amazing. You yourself, you told me that you hear kitchen near you yeah. from Cameroon. Yeah. So the feedback is wonderful, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> Alors j'aimerais bien que vous dites quelque chose en votre langue maternelle à tous ces gens-là qui vous regardent depuis Macaque, au Cameroun. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Comment est-ce qu'on dit euh, merci beaucoup? Je suis un peu plus de temps. Mie Gangandak to all those who are watching us from Macaque. Uh, this is a proud son of Cameroon from the Macaque region. We're just going to say really thank you so much. La main sur le cœur pour vous. Vous êtes un grand homme, un promoteur culturel. Ça ne se voit pas tous les jours. Merci beaucoup de promouvoir la culture camerounaise loin, loin des frontières de, du Cameroun. Merci Gwen. Merci. À bientôt. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? Hey. <laughs> I see you're really representing um, Africa and Cameroon particularly. You're a Cameroonian? Uh, yes, I'm a prince from the Songwak village. And it's an honor to be here today. I, there are a lot of artists that have recognized today. The culture is amazing. It's a surprise. And being uh, a prince myself from a cultural background, I would just say, uh, 237 is making air waves and I want to I'm, I'm particularly proud of the director general of the CR TV uh, Vamuki and uh, the coordinator of the producer of Tantam Weekend and Stella uh, Fett it's an amazing and we wish to have such opportunity to present Cameroon in the diaspora and uh, we hope uh, this opportunity comes next, so we should be, be able to have more fun. Thank you so much. Where is the next actress we're going to be talking to right now? Now, most of you know her as Natalie B. She was a Miss Cameroon in 2009, Miss Cameroon Northwest Region 2009. She's been in the United States for quite a while, and she's doing really good in a profession of an actress. You're now a big woman, a big actress, you know, a big star. Tell us a little bit about that movie career. Oh, my movie career, I started back in Cameroon. I had the opportunity to work with uh, Naba Lawrence. And well, I kind of did my very first movie with him, The Royal Destination. Yeah, that is when I started. Uh, when I came, because of the passion I had for movie, I had to meet this director, um, Taco Abraham. Yeah, I worked with him. I think he is like a pioneer person that helped me into the industry. I did certain things with him, but uh, my very first movie that I acted was The Storm. Yeah, that was um, directed by uh, Obed Joe. And I did also another one with uh, Can Quintos, Ike, and another one with Claudius Oben, The Portrait, mm -hmm. which will be premiered on the 5th of September, and I can't just wait. Wow, I must say that you're doing so well. What should we expect to see of Beauté Noir five years from now in the movie industry? Mm -hmm. um, what I expect from Beauté Noir, first and foremost, I'm a student, I'm a nursing student, and I take my uh, career, like my nursing career, very seriously, though I do part-time movie. But for future, I just want to grow. Yeah, I want to be an actress that people will love. I want to be like an example, like an ambassador, that people will watch me 
and not just watching me to for entertainment but learn what i do and and grow with me now there's something that i'm um, really touch about particularly you are like a pro of the cameron film industry in cameron i must commend that already um i would like you to say something um what has been like um your biggest challenge doing this job because i know that you don't get any payment from that though but you still continue pushing it as much as possible publicizing the films all the time um my biggest challenge has been you know we our movie film industry uh, what we need presently is unity yeah and that is what i do that is what i love to do i love movies don't even if i don't act in your movie i don't really mind but if i can sell your movie out there if i can make people to know what you're doing yeah, i'm so happy about it so i love to like encourage my brothers and sisters that are out there like the producers and director who do their work yeah i love to sell their movies i love to do the publicity that is just me I'm just going to say thank you so much, uh, Botenoa, Natalie B. <laughs> Botenoa is your show name anyways. Uh, we hope to see you on the top. We hope that uh, in the years coming, we're going to hear your names everywhere. And when you step your foot out, as beautiful as you are, black and beautiful Cameroonian, everybody's just going to be screaming thank you once more. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> It's really amazing being out here. I don't regret it one bit being away from Cameroon because this place where I am, it's Cameroon itself. We're going to invite him back on stage. He's been here before. He's coming in here for his second performance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the show guy, the seductive Paco Collins. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Là, je vais dire que je ne m'attendais pas à voir ce genre de show ici. I mean, you got everybody on their feet. People were, like, they were about to just, you know, finish with you on that stage. You. My goodness, what is the meaning of, what, were you, what was the title of that song? Uh, this song's called Yende Neni. That's how you are. Yende Neni. So it's an Ndwala. This is a pure makosa mixed with uh, everything. Yeah. And everybody feels something on this, right? So it can make you dance, it can make you sweat. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose in the nanny. Um, I'm, I'm really saying that you made us all sweat. Yeah, right. You really made us sweat. I'm just going to say congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. This is Back a new home. album. It's a new album. It just came out a month ago. I have plenty of CDs. Is anybody interested? Of course, I would love to dedicate it for you. So this is a new album. It's on, it's on the market. It's not on the market yet. So this was an exclusivity? Yes. This is a brand new performance on this song. So I'm excited you guys like it. And I'm going to tell you, this is an instant hit. It's an instant hit. We'll be dancing to it. I mean, if this is the first time we're hearing the song and everybody was dancing, yes, yes. then, my brother, you have nailed it. Thank you. You have nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So when, when are we expecting to see you in Cameroon? Do you have any shows previewed? Yes, uh, I have a show. I have a bunch of uh, TV show. I'm going to come out especially with you. Yeah. And I have a lot of uh, promotion going on in Cameroon right yeah. now. I'm working on it. So I have a video that's just released. It'll be out that very soon. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to be the first one to start broadcasting. Yeah. So and uh, I'm working hard on this album. I work this album with a lot of talented artists like uh, Evenge Bo, yeah. you know, all those with Fili Bana, mm -hmm. Kobo, and uh, Abu Yaya. Mm -hmm. A lot of people put them, even no no Flavio, all that. They put a lot of my hand on that. Yeah, but now, besides being an artist, you are the promoter of the art space on Sunday afternoon here at Kitchen Near You. Right. Tell us a little bit about that. In a very short while, we'll be seeing Nassis Price, who came all the way from Cameroon to be here. Tell us a little bit about that art space you're doing on Sunday afternoon here. Perfect. Uh, before being an artist, I'm a sound engineer. You see all the design, the one design it. I'm a wow. sound engineer. I put sound together. I do a special event. Like tonight, we have a Nassis Price will perform here yeah, tonight. So we do, uh, every Sunday, we call Prestige Night. It's most of this, uh, something very stylé. I don't know, I'm trying yeah, to say stylé. Yeah. Well, that's all. So we do this every Sunday, and everybody I feel like to, you want to feel like you're back home, there's a place to be. Mm. We give it to you. Mm. And that's what I do. Thank you so much, Paco. Please clap so hard for the Cameron culture. We are promoting it every way we can. Right now, we're going to be talking to another actress. I think that's the only one I've seen for today. She looks so hard. Yeah, she's called Belinda Nabila. She's an actress, like I said. She's producer and writer. She's also the lead actress in the multiple award-winning movie, The Portrait. She'll be telling us all about that. 
telling us especially how her love came about with movies and how she manages to stay so beautiful and strong despite everything as an actress. Because we know that when you're an actress, when you're in the public, there's a lot of people coming after you, especially the men. I mean, she's going to tell us all about that. Because, yes, when you're a beautiful one, there's always something, you know, something behind. We'll have to find out from her how she manages the two, how to be Nabila, um, the girl, the young woman, and Nabila, the actress. Let's celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. It's indeed a venture. My goodness, we will be coming back next time for a second edition. I am so proud to see all the artists who were out here to celebrate with us, and especially the actors, actresses, producers. Right here by me is, of course, a gorgeous Berlinda Nabila. Uh-huh. Yes, I remember that I was saying um, back there on stage that I don't know how she manages um, the Nabila, the girl, the woman, and Nabila, the actress, because she's just so gorgeous. How are you, sweetheart? I'm fine. Thank you so much. You got me blushing. So tell me, how did this whole love story start, you and movies? Well, I have always been interested in movies. As a child, yeah. I've always been into literature. Mm. You know, back home, you know, you're either art or science. Yeah. Art, that's me. So yeah. I could get it wrong with everything else. Literature was my thing. How did you get there into the movie industry? Um, I've been in America now for about eight years. Okay. I met a producer, Erin Tang. Okay. He's actually the one who introduced me into movies. Later on, I got to meet Claudia Oben, mm -hmm. and that's how I really started as an actress. Now, tell me, pretty, how was it like? I mean, your first big role as a lead actress in the portrait. Just tell me everything about it. Well, I wrote the story, so I knew exactly what I wanted from Lucy, the main character. So that, um, and I had an amazing director, John Uche. He taught I mean he taught me so much okay. and he helped bring out the Lucy in me she was like a nagging wife mm. I'm, that's not really who I am but John Usher brought that out of me and I'm so grateful to him for that okay now what would you say uh, your experience has been so far I know it was like your big major role what are you expecting to see in the years ahead especially in your career as an actress I expect progress mm. The Cameroon industry is growing. Mm -hmm. I just want to grow with them. Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I am sure, in a couple of years, or let's say a couple of months, the portrait, the premiere is coming up, mm -hmm. and I'm getting really good reviews mm -hmm. from the fans, from, I mean, my friends, my family, and everybody around. So I believe it's, it's going to be great. You're also a mother, I heard. And I just wanted to find out how do you manage to merge acting, I mean, to separate Nabila Berlinda, the actress, and Nabila Berlinda, the woman? First, I'm a mother. Besides everything else, I'm a mother. I love my baby Paige. But acting is my passion. So despite everything else, I always run to my passion. Try to like balance everything. And it's working out for me. All right, one word to those people watching you back home. I'm sure you're eager to say something to your family. <laughs> I am. Um, I miss them so much. It's been over eight years. So mom, dad, brothers, my sisters, in fact, my whole family, I miss you guys so much. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to watch this movie and see what I've done. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. We're going to watch a little excerpt of that movie, The Portrait, to see just how she acted the role Lucy. The couple has written their own vows. Jason? I, Jason Briggs Anthony, take you, Lucy B, to be my best friend, my lover, and my wife. I will be your partner in times of plenty and against want, in times of health, and against sickness, in times of joy and against sorrow, I promise to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you, and to comfort 
and encourage you for all eternity. I, Lucy B, take you, Jason, Fritz, and Kelly, to be my dear friend and my loving husband. I will be yours in terms of running in the park and beer in red cups. I promise to honor, respect, and care for you in terms of strength and against ill health, in terms of glory and against darkness. And someday, if the stars align, I might let you in on our journey. <laughs> Okay, I must say that I'm really amazed by what I saw out here. I wasn't expecting, I didn't quite know what I was going to see when I came out here and said, hey, let's do, let's celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. But I tell you, you guys are awesome. Please give yourselves a big hand. Oh my goodness, they've been here already for their first performance. They're closing it in a very beautiful style. I said it in the beginning, we will all be standing up, one leg behind, the other one in front, ready to do the, who knows the style? The Cocorico style. Yes, of course, this song has so many hits on a certain network. It's a song they did with Petit Pei Rabba Rabbi. Now I'm going to call right here on stage the guys who know how to boogie dance, the guys who know how to whine it. The guys who know how to get the ladies crazy. Without wasting much time, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the P Brothers. <laughs> ginger, ginger, ginger. I'm just going to let you guys do your show while I watch. <laughs> Oh, God. 
memorable time. Thank you so much for the show, P Brothers. Thank you so much for promoting the Cameroonian music right out here in Maryland. Thank you so much and thank you for everyone out here and special thank you to Ngwe, thank you to CRTV, thank you to the fans and we're glad to be here. One word to all those watching you back at home. One word. One word, Flexi J, Casanova guy. Uh, he didn't say thank you to the sexy ladies. Uh, I said thank you to the sexy ladies too because I love them. Okay, um... To the fans back home, I know be Casanova. Vous connaissez déjà, non? Um, I love you guys back home. You wait for my Kachwachi featuring DJ Arafat, Yorobo. It's gonna be a bomb. Trust me when I say so. Douala, Yaoundé, tout le Cameroun, Africa. Wait for it. We love you, people. That's we'll be coming down so soon. And of course, and like what they say in their song, Ce soir, je suis prêt pour le show. I think we were definitely ready for the show that you guys gave us. I want to say thank you, P Brothers, for always being there to promote the Cameron culture whenever you were called up. I mean, it was on quick notice, but you said, no, if the CRTV is here, I will come out. We will come out and do the Cocorico dance with them. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, we did it for the fans, you know, and um, we, are, we, we are grateful for the support. We want you to stay with us, for we will never fail you. All right. <laughs> and of course, uh, Flexi J, the Casanova man, one word to your people watching you. Um, I want to say I love you guys. You have been amazing from day one. You supported this project. I'm going to call it a project because uh, you never know what is going to come. But we are bent on putting Cameroon on the international map. People that say so. We love you guys and you guys stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And I'm waiting for you in Cameroon. Whenever you're there, come and let's have a, ho a whole show. Okay, we're going to do it on Tam Tam Weekend on Sell Up. Whatever you want, we are going to be there for you. Thank you so much, P Brothers. We are really grateful. Yeah, make sure you prepare some at you after the show in Cameroon. <laughs> I almost definitely do. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, we're going to end up now. Thank you so much. Thank you, P Brothers. Thank you. All right. We'll see you. <laughs> I really just want to say thank you to all the Cameroonians out here in Maryland, United States of America, for welcoming us into their homes despite all their busy schedules because it's running out here in America. I'm telling you, to get somebody's seat out here for one minute, it takes a lot. I just say thank you to all of you, really. It's a sacrifice, and I thank you for standing up for Cameroon today because that was the reason why we came here. I just want to say thank you to Kitchen Yeah, you a big thank you because we are in the space. Yes, Kitchen Yeah, you is one of the top restaurants here in uh, Maryland. If you come here to promoting Africa in general, concerning food, whatever it is that you want from Africa, they have it here in Kitchen Yeyu. I want to say a big thank you to Elvis Efamba. Yes, he has been the one who gave us all the equipment. If we have this high quality images, it is thanks to this great Cameroonian guy, Elvis Efamba. I want to say thank you so much to Ken Quintus, who has not only been the stage manager, he has been the director of this whole event. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you to Claudio, all of you. I want to say a big thank you to Uncle Mart, 
Matt Atugong, who is sitting right here, Natalie B. I want to say thank you to the CYF of the Grace uh, Presbyterian Church. You have been awesome. We're just going to say one Cameroon together forever. See you next time when we're going to be celebrating again with Cameroonians somewhere else. This time it was Let's Celebrate Cameroonians in Maryland. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah.